Well, as the title says, I'm not having a whole lot of luck with these bearings. I had planned on removing and installing the new bearing. I had everything in place, and, well, you'll see. Thanks for watching and following along. Well, welcome back to the hangar. Um, the goal today is to remove the bearings on the, uh, on the crankshaft and put the new bearing on. Only I came here to the hangar a little earlier and there was uh, another fellow here who's a mechanic and uh, I um, remember the you know, previous episode where I was uh, checking the bearings and all of them were great except for one that was making noise. Well, after this crankshaft had been sitting for about two weeks underneath the rag and what have you, and just, you know, um, the other bearing on the um, side with the prop, um, it's also noisy now. So I invited him over and said, what do you think? He said, yeah, you know, you got the engine apart, change them both. So I'm going to have to change both bearings. Let me show you. Okay. This bearing quiet. Oh, it does have a bad O-ring. That's going to have to be replaced. Oh, This bearing, quiet. This bearing, quiet. This bearing was quiet. Now, if you listen, noisy. This was the one that was noisy before. Not the same. A little bit of side play in both, but it was quiet. Sorry for spinning you around like that, but... So, I have one new bearing. I gotta get another. Uh, I've got the engine apart. So I'm gonna pull both bearings off. But I can't pull the inner bearing off because I haven't got the right puller for the one that's close in. I only have the puller that'll work on the outside bearing. You'll see. I'll, I'll, I'm just, today, there's not gonna be a lot done. I'm just gonna pull the bearing off. I'll show you how that works. Putting the bearings back on, uh, I have the materials for that. Here, you're gonna like this. Um, this is, oops, sorry, bad camera work. There. Frying pan. A necessary tool to install a bearing. <laughs> Hot plate to put the frying pan on. Pardon the mess. I really should clean this stuff up before I start filming, but whatever. All right. So, <laughs> you put the frying pan old, old frying pan on a hot plate, you pour oil in there, you put said new bearing in oil, thermometer, it's a candy thermometer, oh hang on, I really gotta fire that cameraman, uh, so candy thermometer to make sure that it's around 290 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, 300, somewhere around there, and that let the bearing hot soak for a while and when it's she's uh, soaked uh, just take the bearing out I've got a pair of tongs for that take them out and drop it onto here with a spacer in here so that when it drops down it stops okay well that's that's not a hard thing to do at all only I'm not going to be installing the bearing now I'm just going to be removing this one I'm going to get something done today uh, I'm just going to remove that one bearing and I'll show you my new tool that I bought it's a clamshell bearing puller and I bought just for that just because well like I said uh, before tools are, are not like bread they don't go bad or stale they last forever and you're gonna use it again so I figured hey I don't have one of these I'm gonna buy one I'm a guy you know it's a tool guys you all understand okay so um, I'm going to uh, carry on with this and uh, uh, here let's do more rotten camera work and spin you around here uh, so oh uh, right at the beginning uh, remember to hit the like button down there uh, and and if you like what you see subscribe and leave a comment say hello from wherever you are in the world one thing I've just discovered though my videos that have more likes are being recommended more by YouTube so if anything just click the like button because then other people will have it pop up on their recommended lists cool didn't know that um, 
I'm learning this whole thing with uh, with this whole video, so I don't know if it works also with the other video platforms out there, which I am now starting to upload to. Uh, so they're way behind, unfortunately. It's only YouTube right now. So, but but they they will be catching up with all the other stuff to the other platforms. I'm not sure if I can mention them because then maybe the people at YouTube are going to get uh, really angry and and throttle it down or something. I don't know. Whatever. Um, so yeah. Uh, while uh, I'm going to go put this camera on a tripod and start working on that uh, crankshaft, just removing the bearings. This is going to be a really, really fast update. Uh, so that's that's where we're at today. So, again, thanks a lot for watching along. I appreciate everybody who comes along and leaves a comment, especially say hello from somewhere in the world. And, um, well, pitter-patter, let's, let's get at her. Now this is just uh, some two by fours and I cut uh, a wedge on each one so that it made a uh, kind of a, like that deal just just to hold this up. That's all it is. It's nothing fancy. And this is a clamshell style bearing four. Twenty minutes later. where it stops. I know, it's abrupt. I stopped the recording, uh, but I left the camera turned on. About an hour later, I went to start recording, and the battery was dead. My apologies. Uh, not much happened after that. I got the bearing off, and I packed up and left. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See you again in the hangar.